Hello everybody and welcome back. Once again, Banner Saga 3, Video Games Ho. Let's get it going. Talk to Ruga time. Time to see what I can beat out of him. Ruga's appearance reminds you of a well-used practice dummy. Still, he smiles as you enter the cell alongside Ad. You look pleased with yourself, considering you failed. Why shouldn't I be? What was the What was it the king said? I'd never set foot in Arboring. Now look at me. Is there anywhere safer in the world? Chained to a wall? You're really gonna pretend this is all part of your master plan? I'm not here to talk about you. Chained to a wall wouldn't call us a win. That's exactly what it is. It's obvious why they tried you in here. Save the king from Ruga's nasty poison trick. Curious if the menders can't do it. But before we talk business, do you play Taffel? Familiar with the board game? Then you know it's not about a game. Secret to... Cack taffle is that pawns and kings are just details. It's about being able to see further ahead than your opponent. You know that sinking feeling when you're looking at the table and the game's not over yet, but you know it's over and you've got to just sit there and keep playing? Have you gotten used to it yet? I mean, you could just quit and flip the fucking table. Tough words from someone rotting in a prison cell. Think harder. While I wait safely in the cell, my loyalists gather strength in numbers. They're preparing. Minoff's life is mine to save. If I let him die, his support crumbles. His control of Barbarang is over. And if he martyrs me, my men run snarling through the streets, wolves among your sheep, who will prevail. Think you'll find us far from sheep. Truth is, not not everyone wants to be swaddled and told everything will be fine. My people are not willing to put their lives in the hands of a weak king trying to make sure we all die equally, fairly. To them, you're not just wrong, you're the enemy of freedom, the freedom to make their own decisions. Believe this, anything you throw at me will come back at you twice as hard. Is that a threat? Looking at things backward as usual, oddly, if it can work for you, if you'll just be reasonable. What are you prepared to do for me? I know what I'm prepared to do for you, Beat Ruga. What do you want? You only do this to take advantage of scared people. Yeah. Truth doesn't wash blood from the streets. The whole room suddenly shudders. Screams pierce the thick walls of cells. Oddly, flips herself to look out the small prison window. Alette, we need to go now. At the walls, it's... Dredge, I'm gonna guess. Or King Kong. What the fuck? Oh, it's one of those... It's one of those super dredge I've heard so much about. That's not good. He had a fucking Kusarigama, what are we gonna do? Oh shit! This ain't good. Push them back! Th there's too many! Fessled! Okay. It's not- okay. That needs to die first. Cover on the flanks. Alright, let's move in there. Coward's gonna run. Do coward things. Alright, Mogar the Barbarian. Lead the charge. If there's anyone I believe in, it's you. Play this carefully, low and slow. How much protection does this guy have? He has a good amount. It's like one of the loser dreads that don't do any damage. He took the poison, though. Take the poison. Fang's cool. One of the few SF5 characters I give a shit about. Alright. Oh, they got one of those- they got one of those weird wiggly wormy things? I hate those. They're gross. I didn't even see where that thing come, came from. Wow, that was a lot of shield damage. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna hope that... Okay, that shredded their armor. But... It also... Fucked them up. So I'm just gonna hit them as hard as I can. This is troublesome. That is for certain.
Oh shit, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, that's not good. He's dead. Well, I've learned something today. These fuckers aren't fucking around. Alright, gun off. S tank and spank, buddy. Blap. Do I rush him, or do I focus? I should focus this guy down. Well, he's practically useless already. Oh, well. Now he's double useless, because he's fucking dead. Kill. These guys don't seem to be doing much, so I can just ignore him for now. Watch him bust some insta-kill attack. Alright, we gotta smack this fucker upside his head. What now, boy? Giving everybody artery strike is working out already. Let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> Let's hack it through. Res respite. Hmm. You know what? I'm feeling spicy. I'm feeling spicy. Let's fight. Like gentlemen. I did that. Let's go. I'm not afraid. Bringeth it on. I could take a couple more dredge. Oh, no. Wait, those are all gigantic ones. Oh, I know. Those are scenery. Those are scenery dressings. Never mind. Does Mogar... Mogar should be fine, though, right? As long as I don't lose, or whatever. Uh. Bum bum, bum bum. Bum bum, bum bum. Clink. Oh, fuck. No. Stop. If only I had menders. Ah. Are you dick? Okay. I got cocky. They want to punish me now. No. I got cocky. They're mad at me now. Run through reinforcements. I don't know we could do that. That's a cool ability, though. That's actually super useful. Knock him down. And watch me give no shit about your strength, boy. <laughs> We're all taking poison damage from something. Move forward initiative. Did some super attack. Break his armor down. Or her. Weren't the channelers female? I can't remember with Dredge. The slingers are... Slingers are women, I know that much. Ah, fuck you, hit you hard.
Or I'll just take it like a shit ton of damage. Charge. Man, he's just healing his dude to an obnoxious amount. This stinks. It spells trouble. Yeah, I was like, this spells a lot of trouble for me. Because now they're just hitting super hard. Alright, well. That's what I think of you. That's almost dead from poison. Hit him with all your might. And we kill them both. Flee. It's time to run. We got too many men down. We gotta get out of here. Mogar's been injured. Stinks. Gunnel's been injured. That also stinks. We got Renown, though. No items, though, as they promised. Liars. Cause I'm a liar. <laughs> you pull back from the breach in the wall as clansmen and guards hold to rush it. Sweat rolls down your face. You need the drudge to eventually become a problem, but the reality of it is worse. You need a plan. We're fucked! <laughs> the plan would just be me screaming we're fucked. Trigby cuts you off as you rush frantically to find your clansmen. Hero, I just imagined you'd come this way. Then you did. I could tell by your face it was you. What is it? This is a poor time to chat. Oh, don't worry. I got nothing to say. <laughs> okay, then help me find. I do have a question, though. Quickly, what's your question? Have you seen the moon? The moon? Shrigby, there are dredge destroying the walls right now. No, that's a sun deer. The dredger was just walking right through. Definitely going to need my luck. Have you seen it? Talk about your moon necklace, Shrigby. Just speak clearly. What's clear is the sun never brought anyone luck. Clear as a mug of mead. Do you drink? Could certainly use one right now. Now you're making sense. Mead solves all sorts of problems. Big old burly barrels of mead solving delicious problems. The only problem is... The only problem I can't solve is once you drink it, it's gone. Profound. Come on, help us fight and we'll share around. So can I ask my question now? You've asked three or four already. Why stop now? Are we already dead? <laughs> oh my, wa motion deru. If so, I'm gonna rest my feet. They say walk in another man's shoes, but what if they don't fit? They sure don't, and they're my shoes. It's just an expression. Oh, like, do the right thing, especially if it gets you killed? That's definitely not right. It definitely is. I've been told that one a few times. I'm not sure you understand what's happening here. I do, actually. I know what they say behind my back. Not Trigby's handsome, not Trigby's brave. Those are words I say to myself. Someone should have to say them. I know something's wrong with me. I just can't see through the dark and fog sometimes in my head. That's why I carried around a moon. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Liar! I don't even know what I mean, but I'm happy you finally answered my question. My necklace was right there the whole time. It looks different than I remember. Must be my imagination. Let's go stab some dogs to death. Dredge, Trigvi. Dredge. If we have time. As I say, that, that, that that's kind of a random cutscene. I guess that's the payoff for pre-ordering, though. Again, the black anchor crashes crashes through the wall above your head, stopping in midair before fleeing back, shutting the wood. What in the depths? You shout. Grim tidings, replies Aleo, ushering you towards the rest of the caravan. I've heard stories of such a Sundir called Ruin who could do such things. It tore down the fortresses of old Varl kings. Oddly stops. She says, it pulls that anchor thing back toward itself, then takes off at full sprint towards where the Varl are gathered. Come with me, she shouts. Rest. We could just take a nap, you know, during the middle of the siege. Ah, sounds like a good time. Just kidding. When you catch up to Oddly, she's already mid-arguing with Hakan and Fasold. For this to work, we need to cooperate. Slow down, stop shouting at me, woman. You've been around them too long, Hakan. Why are we even listening to this? Cods, you're all starting to sound like Ruga. Don't you get it? We either work together or we die. Hear her out. She's earned that much. She expects the Varl to be her beasts of burden. I'm not asking anyone to lower themselves. Just work to our strengths. Look, Ruin's shredding the walls with some kind of thrown anchor. We can't reach him from here. Made me think of something Ruga said. Everything you know, everything you throw at me comes back twice as hard. If Varl gathered every oral barrel, we can find an armoring and bring him here. We can wrap them up in netting. Next time Ruin hurls its anchor at the wall, Horseborn race along the side of the top and drop the netting around it. And Ruin pulls the barrels back out of herself. Herself? What does that gain us? 
And we'll gather every archer we can find. Ersa and the other archers can organize a volley of flaming arrows down on her and boom. Would that be enough? I don't know, but it'd be standing here measuring our loyalties. Sounds to me like a lot of things are ready to go wrong. For all are not great lovers of fly fire, if you've forgotten. Except Mogar, who will just walk through it with no problems. He doesn't give a shit. Why haul barrels when we can meet the Sundier in the field of battle? Would Jorundir have lowered himself like this in the Great Wars? I won't lie, the battlefield calls to me. Why are you Varl so obsessed with rushing off to battle? Ever since Fasolt showed up here, you've been acting like you got a death wish, Shakan. Bah, this one. I think we're just large men with simple minds. I've been alive for hundreds of years. Whoops. I don't know, you can do that. You can zoom! Cool. You rush around fearing your short lives like babies calling for their mothers. How we live is more important than how long. And you destroy our feigned bridge and act like it's nothing. Like you did us a favor, you short-sighted arrogant. Fazal's a poor diplomat, but he's not wrong. Anertoff is the last evidence of our existence. That bridge should have outlived the Varl who made it. I do not want to ek out a few weeks, a few more days cowering behind a wall. I do not want to carry barrels when I could die with a blade in my hand. We are the last of our kind. We are Varl! Just do us a favor and you'll have your fight, I promise. Hakan grunts coming down from his battle cry. If there's a chance to turn the odds in our favor. You used to be harder than steel, Hakan. Now you turn into a lapdog when they ask you to beg. Watch your tone. Things change, Vesselt. I never asked to lead the Varl. Now I have to think of more than myself. Don't worry then, Hakan. Let me give you a few less Varl to lead. Fasolt leaves in a violent mood, yelling obscenities. I always had a temper, he did. He really turning his back on you like this? He'll come around, eventually. Hopefully I'll miss his Varl. Hopefully I'll miss his Varl coming to battle, though. Rest of us will gather your barrels. Don't get comfortable giving me orders. Well, that sucks. And whatever you do, don't let that fence of toothpicks fall before I'm back. Well, there goes Fasolt again. Oh, he took all the Varl. Fuck! I didn't know he could do that. Alright. Skathatch gallops up to you, breathing hard, gesturing quickly. You gather the dredger assaulting from the front gates all the way down the water's edge. Sundir is just going brute force at the wall, Oddleaf says. Topple the whole thing and this will become a killing field. Bad news from our clansmen. Many dead are missing. Some to dredge, others to bedlam. Could have been worse, but it's all going wrong since the Sundir showed up. Well, that one sucks. Terrified villagers scream at the sight of dredge breaching the wall and mobs of people crush together trying to escape in any direction they can. Gather anyone who can hold a weapon. We travel down the wall, pushing the back. Pushing back the dredge until barrels are ready. Oh boy. Here's where I fuck up everything. They haven't got anywhere to run. Well, yeah, we're... Our backs are literally up against the wall here. Against the darkness and shit. We need to start patching these holes so there won't be anywhere safe in here. For now, I suggest we focus on the dredge. Yeah, in terms of our survival, we are literally back up against a wall here. Get ready, you shout. Dredge continues to slip through gashes in the wall like dark blood from an oozing wound. Be smart about it and don't get reckless. We'll clear them out of here and move on to the next breach. Oh boy. I am not ready for this. Oh, he took literally all of my Varl. This is not good. This is not good. We got big boys... Sundir's gonna keep tearing holes in the wall. Whoa, fuck. One thing at a time. Dredge first. Okay. Shield boys up there. Patrick, I need you to charge recklessly into battle and then fucking do the shield thing. Oh, you don't have shield wall. Well. Alright. That's gonna have to do. He's, he's, he's disposable, it's fine. Not that shattered dredge. <laughs> okay, Gunman dear, I need you to charge in recklessly and do the shield thing. Okay, he he's smacked the fuck out of me anyway, so that's good. It's clear whom do I need to focus on for this. You gotta get in there. Impale, impale. This is 
is very worrisome. Alright. Get in there. Bear. We need as many people on this bitch we can get. Alright, he's dead. It's fine. It's whatever. Look at how that bear runs. I don't think I've given the Horseborn characters enough respect. I feel like they would be very, very strong, but I'm too stupid to use them man properly. That guy smacked that shit hard. Positioning. Okay, now I'm just gonna drop him. Target neutralized. Oh, right, he's doing the rock thing. He's doing the explode, explode rock thing. Reach beyond that you get fucking clear of that shit. Fuck, man, he's getting fucked in the mouth. I am a bear, meow. Like, I did not boot- I could not boot my dudes at all. That means they're all gonna die now. This is unfortunate. Alright, here's what we do. The classic strategy that always works and never fails ever. Problem is, is the guy needs to draw aggro way harder. This guy is fucking slaughtering us. That's the problem right now. Alright. Here's what we do. Chip him down. Come on, give me them artery strikes. <laughs> it's working. The plan's working. It never fails. This plan can't fail. Maul, not enough willpower. Fuck you. Plan legit cannot fail. It's gonna do eight damage. Holy fuck! Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh boy. Boom. Artery strike. We got an artery strike at literally the most worthless time possible. Your renown grows. Petrus has entered. Random guard has been killed. <laughs> I love these backgrounds. It's like all these dudes standing around doing nothing. What are you doing? Just standing around. And of course all of them are all gone. They're fucking rallying the barrels. I feel stupid. You know, Marvin's around you chopping lumber back and skrr, but with more blood and fear involved. Other men fill in the gaps where you moved... On holding the dredge at bay easier work than pushing them back. More trouble further down the wall beckons, and there's no time to rest. It really isn't. <laughs> We're very, very much in trouble right now. I just hope Oddleaf's plan works, obviously. Otherwise, we're gonna be up shit creek. Isn't this the gate? Sight of a mender surprises you. They've emerged from the libraries and are weaving patterns in the air to put splintered wood. It looks like dangerous work. How can we help? Oddly shouts up to one standing on the rubble, trying to wrestle away a sheared log. He speaks softly and makes it clear they need replacement wood and stone to patch the damage. 
It may be dangerous for us to linger long, Petrus tells you, pointing out some watching from a distance. Other houses waiting to see what you do. Send word to the caravan to get clans involved. We should stick to the fighting, honestly. Like, that's what we need to do. Make some token gestures with camp, feeling like you're better off use elsewhere. You leave the matters to their own problems. I honestly do feel like we should just stick to the fighting right now. Where are we even rolling to? Why are we rolling the whole fucking caravan there? That's the question. My men are spread too thin. Too much going on. Look at the horizon. So many just standing around. Watching. Other houses. They're waiting for us to fall before they step in. Those jerks. Damn it. Where are those barrels? What if the, what if the Varl screw us? And they just don't do it. What do we do then? This is nerve-wracking, man. I'm not feeling good. A mob of dangerous size is gathering ahead at the harbor. You can see a bobbing mass of ships lurching from the harbor, heavy with people. Petra swears, if sailing away was an option, we would have done it by now. Seas are poison like everything else around here, spits Petrus. No doubt the serpent's blood. It chews away the wood and the fish are dead. There's nothing out there but death. You're just going to let them? I had guards keeping the ship locked down, but we had to pull them on the walls. How much we can do to stop it now? You move on where there's already taken too much time. There, a woman catches your eye. Her gold cloak's in doubt. Nid, you ask? Oh boy. Is Nid gonna run? Nid looks away as you approach, but knows you've seen her. She drags two boys along by the wrist toward the harbor. I'm leaving. I'm sorry I didn't help you. Oh no! Where's your other boy? There's nowhere safe out there. You realize your eldest boy is missing. Can you make a solid guess why? He's gone? How did it happen? He's not gone, he's dead. I don't blame you or myself, I don't even blame the dredge. Who is to blame for all this? Do you know? Nobody can tell me. I just don't want to be here anymore, anywhere but here. Nid, wait! I've known cowards, and you're not one of them. This is a bad choice, all my people are leaving. I have failed, this let's play is over. I've known cowards, and you're not one of them. This isn't about... This isn't about me, is it? Sometimes I wish it were. Wouldn't things be so much simpler? I envy my parents. They most The most they had to worry about was getting their children to not to eat eggs. Every parent wants to give their children a better life than they have. My boys will never have that chance. Not unless I make one for them. You're right. I'm no coward. Okay. She stayed. I didn't make the bad option. Whoosh. 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 That's the sound you make when you sweat on your head. Whoosh. I'm dumb. Morale declined. Well, nope. morale declined, morale declined. Can't really help it, you know? Families, elderly, and children are still pressed up against the walls in staggering numbers. With no room to spread out, they're caught in the midst of the marauding dredge. We can't just leave them to fend for themselves, Oddly says. You wonder what choice you had. Call those nearby to get behind your shields. Get in here, idiots. Can't help everyone caught in the outside, but many unarmed towns folks scramble the relative safety behind your shields and continue with your caravan. Alright. Alright. This is taking a while, I'm not gonna lie. Splitting your time between helping people and fighting dredge is taking its toll, but something else feels wrong. A different kind of wrong. Petrus, sh <laughs> Petrus slows you with a hand on your shoulder. Remember those powerful men in Arboring we talked about? I think they've decided to make their move. This is the one everyone's so afraid of, sneers the man with the face tattoo. You remember seeing him amongst Luga Ruga's loyalists. A few dozen grizzled fighters have blades drawn. You notice they were the crest of many different houses. Petra says, mustering his guards. Ruga stinks all over us. Go, go make him end this now or it'll keep happening. Do whatever it takes. Alright, don't go easy on him, bud. Bad, bad mo juju. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna take the time to end the part here. I don't want to go on too long, obviously. But next time we'll deal with this, <laughs> this assault. So, anyway, I'm Hades Manticore. Thanks so much for watching, VR. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.